hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com and this is your energy forecast and intuitive reading and message for the week of February 24th through March 1st. I think I got the dates right. It's the Monday because I'm recording this on the 22nd, so Monday should be the 24th, and it goes to the end of the month. We are in the middle of Mercury retrograde, so hold on to all your communications and messages. Double check everything, triple check everything. Make sure you're saying is very what you're saying is very clear. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the Tarot of Dreams deck from Taylor Marchetti, and let's see what we can expect this week. How we can best navigate the energy, use it, work with it. How we might grow, what we might learn, or be able to manifest from that. So, my more shuffle. Oh, the card's flying out. I'll put it back in. Let's see what happens. So, what can we expect this week energetically? So, we can expect some King of Wands energy. This is Sagittarius energy. They're really great leaders. They've got a lot of heart. They they often know what they need to do, and sometimes they can be a little little calculating and cold with it. But they really do ultimately lead, I believe, from their heart and their passion. Um, of all the fire signs, I think they're the one that has kind of the most passion, but they don't always know how to show it so much. Um, but they're absolutely leaning from that. So you may be dealing with that kind of energy within yourself, or you may be dealing with that kind of energy with somebody else around you, or it's just that kind of collective energy. How might you best navigate or use that energy? This is Seven of Cups to make some decisions. This is very much um, Scorpio energy, as you can see the sign up there. So this is very, you know, it's thought-provoking, it's internal, it's intense, um, it's very emotional, it's feminine energy as well. So I think it can help you make that decision, especially if you get overwhelmed by all the choices before you, which this card has so many choices. So if you're faced with a lot of choices this week, then use that Sagittarius energy to help you. And you can even go Google just what are the traits of a Sagittarius person or even Google King of Wands and see some of their traits and utilize that. Just kind of embody it, um, invoke it, um, and just use it as kind of a stepping off point to make the choices and decisions. And then finally, how will you grow? What might you learn? What you might be able to manifest with that? So this is Nine of Wands. First of all, there's more Sagittarius energy. You might be able to master that energy. You might be able to bring some things to a close because number nine is about endings and completions. We do have a 10 card in and wands. Every suit has number 10, which is like you're ready to begin again. You've ended it, you, but you're different and you're ready to go on. This guy's sitting here. He's still got a few more steps to go. He's still got a little bit more work. And, you know, they can make it happen because they still have that energy. So I feel like if you utilize that Sagittarius energy at the end, you're going to really learn how to utilize it even more, step into it even more, manifest with it even more. Because we got a lot of, we got two fire cards here, no major arcana, and one cup card, which is about heart, things, emotions, you know, love, that kind of stuff. So there is your message for the week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing this. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like button and then subscribe and um, maybe even put the little uh, notification button. So when I do download some things on here, make some stuff, you'll get notified of that. Also, check out my website, MitchellOsborne.com. If you want to get your own personalized reading, just like I did here, but specifically for you, especially since we've got a new moon on Sunday the 23rd. Yeah, it is a new moon. We're still in Mercury Retrograde. Um, um, and I forgot what the discounted spread of the week is, but if you scroll through the store, you'll see it says like sale. Um, anyway, namaste. Until next time. Bye-bye.